special to play this poem. I don't know where I was last night. <laughs> well, <we're laughs> Could you tell us about the last piece that you just played because you sang that in English? That's a translation of the Troubadour poem. Uh, W.S. Merwin translated Guillaume X. Okay. Guillaume uh, From what language? From Provençal. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's kind of similar to Catalan. And it's a strange poem. Well, you could hear the lyrics. Yeah. I make a song. I'll make a song. After it. But he was an early troubadour. One of the first. And W.S. Merwin, actually, you can find that in an interesting book called uh, The Maze May, like the month May, of Ventador. That's where we ripped the poem from. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a great story of how Merwin was traveling around, kind of looking for the spirit of the troubadour mm -hmm. in Trobirates, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We like those. Oshu, the yeah. Armenian, Oshu, also like that. The one before? Uh, that was oh, like a long string of pieces. Uh, and focused around a Persian uh, mode called Afshari. Uh, so we were trying to be in the Afshari <coughs> zone and uh, the first piece was actually a Javanese poem from Kidum Bumek Sa'inwami, but it's like the fourth stanza of this um, very famous Javanese mantra for healing. Um, so to sing that in the <coughs> Persian mode felt really um, right, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. It talks about the origin of the universe. Everything started from one seed, um, and then goes on to talk about how blessed the people are who preserve and who do the reading and the uh, reciting and the remembering and keep those treasures, uh, those kind of wisdom teachings preserved and that their, it says literally their bodies are blessed. It's very nice. Dadi ahimni badan. And then it says, if you recite these things over water, then you can, it's saying it's very, it's magic too. You recite this. Actually, someone was telling me, this amazing woman, Nancy Florida, uh, who's translated a lot of Javanese literature. And she has um, a court name. I think it's like K R M T something Udayani Gas. Her. Do you know her? Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, her is, you know about yeah. her work. Yeah. yeah. Um, she said to me, "Yes, a sesambur. It's you. You do um, you do a combination of recitation and actually spitting water as a form of healing, like 
I don't know whether you would recite it while it's water's in your mouth and then the water becomes a blessing or but you've seen like priests do blessings of water. It's very I think there's some universal traditions with that. So it's it's kind of like containing some of the ceremony inside the poetry to say explicitly, and you can do this and then it says that will heal the insane and bring the lovers together. <laughs> it's a great poem attributed to Sunan Kalijaga, the person, uh, one of the nine saints who brought Sufism to, to yeah. Java. And he was supposed to be Chinese, too, I just read. So, so many things defy all our assumptions. It's just such a good feeling to find out those things, pass them along. And then the poems after that, uh, we were still in Afshari following the basic structure of that mode, but singing uh, some classical Persian poetry, Hatif of Esfahan, Delbor Yazman de Yakmal, a Turki Kaurat Kerimman. It's just a really beautiful love poem, basically, but saying, uh, You stole my heart and at first you gave me joy, aval delamra safa First you gave me safa, this like purity and enjoyment. Oh uh, ine am jalaudot. Then my mirror, you polished it. That was a little hard. Oh her rebaldi fanaudot. And in the end, in the wind of annihilation, ishqetu chaukistarim man. The love of you is the ashes of me. Kind of quintessential, I think, classical sentiment, the Sufi philosophy. But you know, we're students of that music. We're trying to, <laughs> you know, get in there. So thanks for joining us on that journey. To it's so deep and really a big challenge for anyone. <laughs> Uh, you, you wrote the music yourself, or is it old melodies that 